let's talk about the main event and then we'll sign off to the sunset. Hopefully you get some power back. I know you're you're riding dirty in your car right now, finish things off. But Young Bucks and Penta L Zero and Eddie Kingston in a street fight. And I was, you know, I said it online and I tweeted about it. The Young Bucks entrances are quickly becoming one of my favorite things um to watch and anticipate for every single week on Dynamite. You know, every time they switch it up, they're they're even more and more cocky every week. Awesome. They have better danglies every week, different different wardrobe every week. Uh, I am so bummed they shaved the stashes though, because I'm such a huge stash fanatic. Uh, so I get switching the gimmick up, but I think they should have done uh, at least stash for a couple weeks. I know. Um, that being said, um, I love their jean shorts and just Don Callis being the hype man on commentary for us at home. Uh, and really hyping it up, man. It, it was a <laughs> match too. I mean, they showed like we got to see some some thumbtacks coming out. Um, Oof, brutal, yeah. I mean, for for the Bucks, you know, they dropped that EVP line not that long ago, and always know, about the Young Bucks. You don't necessarily uh, the, the the first thing to come to mind is not violent usually, right? There, yeah, there's a showmanship vibe in them. There's a lot of you could super kick party. Um, a lot of that that comes to mind, but don't think violence you don't think street fighting you don't think that right. reality and you know for them to be able to hang tonight and i mean they took ev- to their credit they took uh, everything that can that eddie kingston and penta could throw at them did they ever uh, for them to be able to hang through that to take the the, the garbage can shots to the head and also you know oh yeah destroyers and all sorts of, for them to be able to do all that and still come out on top the Bucks are, the Bucks are definitely clicking on another level right now. This this run with this title, I know early on in their title reign was was ca- kind of characterized against for them facing a lot of unheralded teams, a lot of young yeah. teams. There's no no contention with what they're doing now, man. They're they're beating everybody in, that's coming their way, even though by hook or by crook, uh, you got to give the devil their due. These guys are. are they are killing it right now. Killing the game, just like they said in their book, man. But this was – there was stuff everywhere in the ring. It was a hot mess the whole time. There was just stuff everywhere, some great high spots. I mean, that destroyer that Penta did through the table was unbelievable. And we got to see, obviously, the bad brothers, the good brothers come out, and then the elite hunter – Kind of similar stuff that we've been seeing trends. So I don't know where they're going to be going with this. You know, what's the long term booking is this? You know, like I said, um, I still stand by it. I was hoping for, you know, you have Penta, Eddie, and the Elite Hunter, and then you have four of them. So you're missing a guy. So if you have the return of Ray Phoenix, then Ray Phoenix and Penta team up and then dethrone the Young Bucks. Like if you keep stretching that out um, somehow, but you know, Kazarian, I like that he's still going for this. You know, we're not seeing Christopher Daniels because of the breakup, but I, I really think it's uh, I, I like it. But I'm curious of what's next. Like, what what match do you book next if you continue to book this feud, or do you think the Young Bucks uh, tackle someone in the rankings now? You know, are they gonna have a rematch? Are they gonna? Is there gonna be another one number one contender match? Varsity Blondes versus the Acclaimed, and then have you know the winner of that again? Uh, since both teams have already faced the Young Bucks. Uh, but who knows? Uh, I'm really liking it. Pure madness in the ring. Great way to finish it. And, you know, Don Callis said it best. Like, Eddie was taking definitely the most brunt of this. He's taking the most abuse. Man, he's going to have to hit the uh, the cold ice bath afterwards of this, man. He's going to be feeling it. And he's going to have to see a dentist, too. Maybe the DMD can take a look at his mouth after getting all those thumbtacks to the mouth, you know. So, whew. Yeah, you know, it, it, yeah. It was a brutal. It was a brutal match. Um, you know, as as always, the, there was outside interference that got that kind of, you know, got tainted some of the way that this match went. But they um, call their shots on BTE. We need to cheat more. I love that. I, I love that. Um, and it's again, it's getting them heat, which is great. Um, right. So, but I mean, as you said, there's there's a good and bad about this, right? Like we've seen, mock, we've seen the Bucks beat some sort of combination between Kingston, Penta, Moxley, you know, uh, Pac. We've seen some sort of combination of them get beat. Yeah. Bucks quite a bit now. Um, Where does this go? Um, Yeah. That's a good and bad thing, right? Like you're left wondering like, okay, like 
what's going to happen, like, and, and how many more combinations can I see of the Bucks going over? But then you also yeah. have anticipation of like, who's finally going to be the ones that that can take these guys down? Um, that that mystique and aura of having a strong champion is a is a lost art in a lot of ways. Like, you gotta you gotta protect those t- those champions and make them make them feel unbeatable at times and it, sure. which we've been like exhausted by the bucks like their championship reign and by how they've won matches and how despicable they are but yeah. it, it makes you appreciate this reign that much more um i'm intrigued by where it goes from here uh, no clear championship contenders emerging for as believable right. team that can take them off right now and that's to me um you know, exciting about the big picture of the AW tag division. Where do they go? What, what anything could happen. It feels like, you know, there's there, the shoe is going to drop. And, and that's, uh, I guess that that's the best part about being a wrestling fan is just, is not knowing, you know, we, we want a fantasy book all the time and we want to think that we have it all figured out, but it's fun when we genuinely get surprised. And I think that, that the way this feud is going, there's a surprise down the road. That you're absolutely right, man. I can't wait. There, there's so much to look forward to, and you know, we just saw uh, an awesome show. Which-